Do you ever find yourself restless, like something is missing no matter what you achieve or possess? Have you ever wondered if there is a deeper purpose beyond the everyday routine, a kind of freedom that goes beyond the ordinary? Today, we will explore Rumi's poetry to uncover how letting go of worldly attachments can lead us to a profound love that fills that void. محرم این هوش جز بی هوش نیست مر زبان را مشتری جز گوش نیست What does Rumi mean by being unconscious to the material world? How can this be the path to discovering a higher reality? Stay with us as we uncover this mystery. Rumi starts by describing a profound state of being, one where the spiritual truth are received and discovered by those who are unconscious of the material world. But what does it mean to be unconscious? Is it to be asleep, unaware of our surroundings? No. Rumi uses unconscious as a metaphor. He speaks of individuals who have turned away from the distractions of the everyday life, instead focusing on more profound, higher value realities. These are the individuals who can truly understand the language of divine love. In our sorrow, days turn to night, filled with burning pain. Imagine this pain, the pain of separation from the Divine Beloved. It is not just something emotional. It is a spiritual longing that burns within, transforming every moment of life into a journey towards reunion. Rumi compares this journey to the fish in the water. Just as a fish cannot live without the water, an awakened soul cannot live without the divine love. This love is our lifeblood, our sustenance. Without it, our life loses its meaning. If the days pass, let them go. Only you, the pure, remain. Here Rumi is saying that time and its passing is of no consequence. What matters is the Divine Beloved, the purest form of existence. This is what sustains us. This is what we must hold on to amidst the fleeting nature of our lives. Rumi's wisdom is clear. Detach yourself from the unnecessary worldly desires and free yourself from the chains of materialism. But how can we do this? How can we let go of things that bind us? If you pour the sea into a jar, how much will it hold? Only enough for a day's drink. We often try to contain the infinite within the finite, our knowledge, our experience, our possessions. But Rumi teaches us that the true essence of life, that is divine love, cannot be contained or qualified. It is limitless and infinite. And so we come to the heart of Rumi's message. Love. Divine love purifies, cleanses, transforms us. It tears away the veils of selfishness and greed, revealing our true selves. Anyone whose love is torn by love is freed from greed and blood. So, what does Rumi teach us today? It is simple, yet profound. To find the true freedom, we must detach from the purely material and embrace the divine love that lies beyond. This love is our path to spiritual liberation, a journey that starts within and reaches out to the infinite. But what if there is more to love than we have ever imagined? 
In our next episode, we are going to explore a breathtaking idea. What if love is not just a feeling or a virtue, but the very force that binds everything in the universe? How does this cosmic force impact our lives and our understanding of existence? Could this be the secret to unlocking a deeper reality? If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to check our previous episodes on Rumi's poetry. Each episode is a step deeper into the understanding of his divine message. Until next time, stay curious and open your heart for love. محرم این هوش جز بی هوش نیست مر زبان را مشتری جز گوش نیست در غم ما روزها بیگاه شد روزها با سوزها همراه شد روزها گر رفت گور و باک نیست تو بمان ای آن که چون تو پاک نیست هر که جز ماهی ز آبش سیر شد هر که بیروزی است روزش دیر شد در نیابت حال پخته هیچ خام پس سخن کوتاه باید و سلام بند وکسل باش آزاده پسر چند باشی بند سیم و بند زر گر بریزی به را در کوزه ای چند گنجد قسمت یک روزه ای کوزه چشم حریسان پر نشد تا صدف قانع نشد پر دور نشد هر که را جامز عشقی چاک شد او زهر سو ای به کلی پاک شد